Hi, this is Sarah Maywalt with Acuity Laser. Today, I wanna to show you how to take the data from your touch panel in real time and display it on another system. Um, what you'll need for this is one of our touch panels. This is an eight inch touch panel, but our seven inch also has this ability. Um, some Acuity sensors, obviously. Here we have two AR700s. You need two serial to USB cables, or just one if your PC already has a serial port on it, a RS-232 null modem, and also some program that can collect the data from the touch panel display. Here I'm just going to be using a terminal emulator to demonstrate this is TerraTerm, which, is, uh, which you can find for free online. Okay, to set this up, first you want to have your touch panel on and you want to have your sensors connected. So you can see I have one AR700 connected to sensor to, uh, to port A and one connected to port B. This one's connected to port A, this one's connected to port B. Um, you also want to have a serial to USB connector connected directly to any one of the USB ports in the touch panel. The other one you want connected directly to your computer. And then between them, you want to connect them both with a null modem. And what this does is simply reverse the transmission and receive wires between it. So What's transmission, what the wires for transmission on your computer is being received on the touch panel and vice versa. Now on the touch panel, once you have the two sensors connected, hit the back button and you'll go to the measurement screen. And from there, go to the app setting screen. Okay, now you'll notice one interesting attribute here, output baud rate. Now that is the output baud rate for the touch panel to another system through the serial to USB cable. So right here, just for purposes of this demonstration, we'll set it at 460,800 baud. Okay then go back to the measurement screen. And when you start the measurements, the touch panel display will start to transmit the information through the serial cable. So once you have the touch panel outputting the, uh, the information through the serial cable, go to your PC, open up your, your collection device. Here I have TerraTerm. Make sure the serial port is set to the correct baud rate. Also, you wanna make sure that the, the data is 8-bit data, no parity, one bit stop bit, and no flow control. Once you do that, you can hit start, and the output will just start running to your other device. You can see I can move this and the values change in real time. Any calculation you make on the touch panel, whether it be a calibration or tearing or switching the signs will be reflected in the output. So you see here, I'll tear the first one you can see, tear the second one, if I can hit it, almost, ah, there we go. Now I can clear that one, clear this one, change the sign on one, and you can see that the output matches everything I'm doing on the screen. Also, you should note that the value for the sensor connected to port A comes before the value for the sensor connected to port B in the output. This holds true 
even when, you know, if you used A and F, A would come before F. There wouldn't be um, a bunch of spaces between the two, but A would come before F. If you had all six, it would go in order A, B, C, D, E, F. The output also holds true if you are taking something like a thickness measurement where it's uh, combining two of the signals. So let's go back to app settings really quick. Um, put A and B in some thickness mode. Go back and you can see there's now only one window. Hit start and now you can see only one number, the thickness number is being transferred. Now this isn't an actual uh, value of this uh, speed cube here. I would have to calibrate it to, to get an accurate value. But the point is that you could calibrate it and all of your calibration will, all the calculations you made will transfer over through the uh, serial port. And just to show you real quick, that you, can, you don't have to have more than one uh, sensor connected. Let me go back to sensor configurations and I will disable A. You can see it's gray again. Then let's go back to the app settings, turn off the thickness measurement mode, go back to the measurement screen, hit start, and now you can see that sensor B is outputting just as before. You can see if I move the target, everything acts as normal. So that's how you connect a touch panel display to another device in order to display um, the values that the, that the touch panel display is showing. This is a great feature that can help you transfer the information and the calculations that the touch panel display is displaying itself to another device like a PC for data collection or visual visualization. But it, at this point, it's not intended to be connected to a PLC for um, controlling a, a production line. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for choosing Acuity.